Okay, so it was requested. Sorry, let me shift. My wish basket fell. Sorry. Get that back up there. It's really full. Sorry, guys. Okay, so it was requested of me to do a get ready with me so I thought why not bring you along to get ready with me for my birthday so my son and my daughter-in-law got me the Morphe palette for my birthday the 3502 and that's what it's not in the box I took it out already but that is what the palette we'll be using let me show that to you here and I love that Morphe is now, I hope this doesn't glare too bad. It's going to glare really bad. It's putting names with them. It is just a clear sheet. And what I do is I just set it up to the top because there's no mirror in the Morphe palette so that I can then see what I'm working with. And these are the colors and they're very pretty colors. Um, and I will show you what I'm working with as I go. Um, the only thing that this palette doesn't have that I'm going to pull from another small, I have an MUA, uh, Makeup Academy, professional little palette, and I'm going to be pulling the transition shade from it, which will be this one right here, because that's really close to my skin tone. Okay, I have already washed and prepped my face, and um, I put my oil that I used is the uh, Makeup Forever Ultra HD Skin Booster. That's the oil that I've used on my face for the dryness today. So, I will have everything linked below. Um, so, if I forget to mention something, hopefully I remember to put it in the bottom. I'm not always good at that. I don't do a whole lot of makeup tutorials, but it, I, I love doing makeup, so I'm not a professional. I just like having fun. It's like everybody else. That's what we're here for is to have a good time. Okay, so let's get started because these videos seem to always take a long time. I have not tried this on my face. I swatched it on my hand once, and it's the Becca First, First Light Priming Filter. Um, instant complexion refresh um, that's the what I'm going to be using for my primer and it's supposed to give a little shiver it's my birthday let's have a little fun so I'm just gonna dab a little bit on, on the back of my hand here because I'm not 100% sure how much I'm gonna need of this hopefully not a lot I've got my mirror here and I hope that's not distracting to anybody. I don't want to blind people. Okay, let's just get started. And I'm going to try and get through this video without making it too, too long. Oh, that could give a shimmer, shimmer. Oh, God. I'm not going to use the primer on the eyelids. I have another primer for that. But I did want to use this. I think that would be fun. It's supposed to add a little bit of glow to your skin. So I thought that would be fun. Why not? Okay. For foundation today, I'm using the Revlon Age Defying. Um, I think that this sometimes, it looks like a really good color for me in, in the bottle and when I put it on the back of my hand. But when I spread it out, or just doesn't seem as good a color. I don't know. You guys will have to tell me what you think. I'm just stippling it on with my brush, and I'm using the Morphe 444.
trying to avoid as much of the under eye area as possible. That was one pump. I'm going to have to get another. Let's see how many pumps it takes with this stuff. I don't know. Usually I use my beauty blender. Just spread around a little bit. There we go. I feel like I'm beating my face off. But I thought we would try it with a brush today. No. So, 49, guys. 49th birthday. Seen a lot of changes. Been through a lot of changes. Life is forever changing and you just gotta roll with it make your life what you want it to be you don't ever let anybody tell you you can't be what you want to be or do what you want to do just get out there and do it Woo! that is really bling i only use two pumps with that with that particular um primer so finally stick that back on there okay now I'm going to go do the under eyes and uh, my uh, NYX HD, the lid has broke, so I have to use it this way. It still works, so whatever. And um, I'm using the... Um, NYX HG Studio Photogenic um, Concealer and I was trying to find what it is in. It's in CW01 so that's what it is by NYX. It's okay. I have lots of creasing underneath um, my right eye and there's nothing I can do about that. Um, I notice a lot of lines under both my eyes um, and a lot of that is to do with the insomnia. So I don't know that there's anything that anyone will ever be able to do with that. So. Um, I'm going to try and avoid powder uh, under that area as much. Well, I'm going to powder it because I need to set it, but powder is going to make it look ten times worse. And since I'm using a loose setting powder, I don't want to blind anybody, but what I do is I got this little tiny mirror from Wish. Thought it would be bigger. Don't judge. I didn't look at the measurements. I didn't pay attention to the measurements. And even if I had, I probably would have messed it up anyway not the best with measurements so it's a lifelong struggle for me all right i'm going to powder my face really quick i don't like bake because i'm too old for that my skin's too old for that Cause that powder would just like go into every freaking line ever so just powder the whole base now i have powder left so i'm gonna set it off to the side because i might need it once i bronze my face up because um, yeah and i'm using the physician's formula butter bronzer very happy with this bronzer. let me turn this little ring light off I don't think I need it, and it's just causing more problems when I try and show you guys what I'm using. Um, oh, and for the powder, I was using the R7, the Morphe R7, and for the um, bronzer, I'm using the Morphe P2. 
PK4. I feel like I got kind of heavy on that one a little bit. But that's why we kept the powder out and didn't get rid of it. So if I feel like I go a little heavy handed, then uh, I can always take some off. Or dense it down. Okay. Put that one off to the side and I'm going to go back with my powder brush. I'm not going to add any more pack to it, but I'm just going to blend the bronzer in. Just want the bronzer to give us a little bit of life into our face. Not really too uh, contour or anything. Just to bring some life back to the face. Okay. And then I'm going to do my blush. And then we'll get started on these eyes. I am going to try put some lashes on for you guys today so we'll see how that goes and for blush I'm using the Luxie 514 brush and I'm using the Tarte in Celebrated and I need to start using this more I haven't even made it I haven't even gotten rid of all of the patterns when I put my blush on, I like to make a smile and then add it to the cheeks and bring it back a little. Just a little. You just want to add a little bit of life back into your cheeks. And I'm an avid tapper. Um, used to be an avid blower because back in the day, that's how we did it. You blow, you Put it on there and blow the extra off. Yeah. I've gotten away from that, which is a good thing. Okay. This spot is not going to ever go away. That's from a car wreck. That's never going to change. It's going to be there forever. But, okay. So I think this part of our face is done. And what I want to do next is I want to start the eyes. Should I do that? I should probably do my eyebrows really quick. So just give me a second. It's not like I do a whole lot with my eyebrows. I just try to extend them out to where I think they are supposed to be. Because you can see they kind of stop short. They're a little sparse at the ends. So that's all I do is just try and fill those in. Um bored the dog so he left came in to see what we were doing and wasn't interested in the makeup so he left <laughs> I think Jeremiah left us too so they all decided that it was boring today mom was boring today so I had to go find something else to do uh, Rosie was in here I don't know if she's still over there or not she was over on the floor at my dresser Hanging out. That's what they do. They come in here and hang out. Okay, there's my eyebrows are done. I just, it's Physician's Formula. It's a little kit that I got from them. It has all the little spoolie, the brush, a highlight for that, um, and then the thing. And it's all in light brown, I believe. That's what I got, light brown. Um, I'll see if I can find a color on there really hard to read because I've used it quite a bit um, but uh, if I can find it I will link it okay so the first thing we got to do is prime our eyes and I think I'm going to use this pop fill full coverage concealer from um, wish and I'm going to use that all over my lid I'm going to find my little brush that I used for that and for that, I use an e.l.f. Uh, professional eyeshadow brush. And I just dip in, get some on there, and then just paint that all over the lid. 
I like using the brush because I can really get down along the the lashes. And when I use my finger, I seem to miss that spot because my chubby little fingers don't want to get down in there. Okay, and once we get this painted all over the lid, then we're going to go into the MUA palette. Um, and I got that at um, CVS. Um, I've had it now for... I want to say that I've had that palette for about a month now. And I've been trying it, and I really like it. Uh, I like the colors. I like the way that they go on and the way that they swatch. It's really nice. Um, I don't take the swatches 100% to heart because they go on with a brush different than they do on with a... Okay. I did play around with this look the other day, last night, just to decide how I really wanted it to look. And in between colors, I will use this little thing. Don't judge, it really needs to be cleaned, but I needed to use it and then it takes a couple days to dry. Because you want to make sure it's completely dry. Alright, I'm just going to go in with this little taupey brown color. These are not, they don't have names. But I'm going to take that color and I'm going to sweep it all over the lid. That is just our base color to so that the um, we'll have something to work from. And we just put that all over the lid so that every color we put on after that will blend so much easier. So if you put it right on with that concealer, the, it won't move as easy and it won't blend as easy. And, but you need the concealer to help your look stay all day. So I've just swept that all over your lid. You really can't see it because it does match my skin really well. But that's okay. Oh, I've got an itch. Sorry. Um, and then I'm going to go in with... Let me pick this up. I'm going to go in with Universal, which is this color right here. I'm going to use that for my crease color. I'm just going to get a little bit on my brush, use my hand and tap it the extra off. And I'm going to start at the outer corner and work it a little bit in that corner. Just little circular motions in the corner and then I'm going to sweep it. Now I have hooded eyes, so instead of going straight into the crease, I am going to go slightly above the crease so that when I open my eye, you see how hooded it is, you will still be able to see it. Otherwise, it'll just go into the crease and disappear forever. Um, it's, easy, it's better to start with a little bit and work it up than to just go all ham. So I'm going to dip back in a little bit, tap that off, work in the corner because you don't want to just smear complete pigment across there, and then work it back and forth like a windshield wiper. until you get the desired consistency that you want. And I think that's going to be good to start out with. So I'm going to do one eye on camera and then I'll do the other eye off camera. That way the video won't be completely long, long, long. So, okay. Now next I'm going to go in, I'm going to look at my names, Orb and I'm going to, Orb is this one right here hard palette to show. Orb, right here. This is what I'm going to go in with next. And I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to start in the corner. Get some on my brush. Tap off. Go in that corner. Do some circular motions and then sweep it up onto the eye. You just want to add some color. Build some dimension. You want to go in. While I'm sweeping now, I'm doing the windshield wiper motion, but I'm also adding a little bit of a swirl in there. And that's just helping to blend those two colors together. And I think that's so pigmented that it, I think that's where I want that color. Because by the time I get this color, this, this look down, you guys are going to think I'm crazy, but I think it's going to look really good. Okay, next we're going to go in with this 
color right here, which is Blaze. Bear with me, guys. I know what I'm doing, I promise. Blaze, not heat. Oh, I almost went into heat. We don't want heat. Don't want to turn that heat up. Okay, this one I am just going to focus in this corner in the outer V of the eye. And I'm really going to pack what I have there on the brush as much as possible. And then I'm going to slightly bring that over. Just probably the halfway point, not all the way over. Just the halfway point, just to give it a little more di dimension to the eye. Okay, and then I'm going to wipe my brush off just a little bit because I'm getting a lot on there. Okay, and then I'm going to go in with... I need a different brush. Hang on. I've got them laid out here. I want my little... There we are. I'm going to use the little pencil brush. It's the Morphe M576. And I'm going to go in with what color you, sauce, which is this really pretty shimmery orange color. And I'm going to really load it. I want to really get it on there, tap off the extra, and then I'm just going to pack that on the center of the lid. real good there just like that and then I'm going to take that same brush that I've been using and go in and just circular motions and really blend that in so it's blended nicely and then I'm going to go in with a little tiny brush a little tiny flat brush and it's a Morphe E19 and I'm going to go into pure which is this goldy shimmery color there and that I'm going to go right underneath the brow bone to really highlight that area and then I'm going to go that same color into the corner of the eye and that inner V like so and then I'm going to take that same brush and I'm going to go back with circular motions and really blend that so that they just melt together it looks like you just I don't know but they just so they all melt together I know it's looking a little crazy but bear with me then I'm going to take this really small pencil brush it's the M168 and I'm going to go in with the blaze color that we used earlier, which is this one right here. And I'm going to take just a little bit of that, tap it off, and go right underneath the eye. And I'm only going to do that about halfway. And just really make that eye pop and then I'm just gonna take my blender brush and I'm just gonna make sure that that's not too harsh under there I really think that's pretty good okay then we're gonna go now I will go off camera and I would do the other eye but I'm gonna finish this eye first okay so the next step is we need our little flat brush, which is just a eyeline brush, and that's all it says, eyeline brush. I don't even remember where I got it, but I'm going to go in with, no I'm not, I'm, whew, I'm sorry guys, I got ahead of myself. We have got to get some eyeliner going on here first before I can use a powder to powder it down so let me find the one I want to use it's a gray one it's an MUA uh, makeup academy professional and it's a gray color 
that I found. I found it at the same time. I, they were having a sale on this stuff. And so that's why I have so much of it. But I, I like the formula so far. And I'm going with this gray color because I normally would want a blue to make my eyes pop. But blue on this color would just clash like the Dickens. So I opted to go with the gray. And when I tried it last night, I thought that it looked really good. I suck at wings, by the way. Just so you know. So it is what it is. And then I'm going to use that same color in my wa lower waterline. And I'm only going to bring it to about the middle of the eye. And then I'm going to just the tiniest bit underneath the lower lashes to kind of help connect it to the wing and bring the whole eye together. So you can see what I did there. And then I am going to where I have a little bit of fallout right here underneath. I'm going to go back in with our uh, concealer, our potted concealer. And I'm just going to get some on my brush. And I'm just going to go underneath that line and just sharpen that up and clean that up just a little bit. Just to make it look nice and professional. And I don't know, professional, just nice. Make it look less horrible. Okay. So now, for your entertainment needs, I am going to try to put these false lashes on. We will do my lower lashes here in a minute. I like to get this done first. And these are from the House of Lash, and they're bombshell. So let me get these open. See if I need to trim the ends at all. I don't think I do. I don't see anything sticking out okay what I like to do with a fr fresh new set of lashes is I'll wrap them around one of my brushes and then pull them back so they have that bit of a curve to them I don't know if that really helps or not <sighs> I think it lessens my anxiety a little bit with this because I'm not the greatest at lashes And applying the adhesive is one of the hardest parts of the lashes for me. I always want to have a heavy hand in squeezing, which gets way too much. So I try really hard to just get a little bit out there and then try and spread it all the way across. No, you're not supposed to blow them, but I blow. Okay. Then once I feel like they're tacky enough, I'm going to just tilt my head back and I'm going to just gonna get this guys and I'm sorry if you can't see what I'm doing that might be a godsend and I almost knocked that whole palette off and I would have cried and then I just want to tap it down and I'm using just the end of my nail for that, just to make sure it's laying in place where I want it. And I did it, guys. I've been practicing. Told you guys I was going to practice and I was going to learn how to do this. I've been practicing. I need to practice that wing more, but I've been practicing. Okay, now, mascara. I got it right here in front of me. I'm using the Wet n Wild. It's a two, three series part where it's one, two fibers and... Since I have the falsies on though, I don't need the fibers. So I'm just going to use the step one. Um, I think I have this one and one other mascara out of my old mascaras left. So then I'm going to go into my samples and start using those. And it's not a happy thing because of course, I had too many going at one time, so a lot of them are wasted, which um, upsets me. 
because I really like them and I never got to finish them because I had so many going at once. So there's a life lesson for you. Because once you open your mascara, t that time bomb is ticking. And that's how you have to remember that for your mascaras. Time is ticking as soon as you open that up. Air's in there and it's going. Okay, now after I get this mascara on here like this, then I wait for that to dry. And while I'm waiting for that to dry so I can do the bottom ones, um, I'm going to take a quick break. I'm going to get the other eye done. And I will do the lower lashes when I come back so you can see that. And then we'll do the lips and my look will be complete. So give me just a few minutes, guys, to finish the other eye and get it to where this one is now. Okay, what has been seconds for you guys has been about a half an hour for me. I went ahead and got my hair done. I did get the other eye to match the existing eye. Um, got the lash on, no problem. Um, now, let's do the lower lash and highlight and lips because I forgot to highlight a minute ago. But that's okay because we're not going to forget it now. I'm not going to over highlight and all of the older skin. So the highlight does noise play well with my older skin. And I also wanted to, to say too that um, before I started I did use my, use my EOS from the holiday collection in um, chocolate peppermint to moisturize the lips and get them ready. Okay, so for the lower lash, I like to lean my head down and then just gently go in and try and catch every little lash. Now sometimes if you go back and forth along the lashes, you get them started and then it's easier to see where they're at. But the whole idea is to get all of the lashes in my eyes to start to water because holding my eyes open. Okay, that's one lower lash done. Now we'll go to Mr. Watery because this I likes to water a lot. Say a prayer, so I make it through. So I'm not killing all my work. Okay, lower lashes are done. They're on. I only ever do one coat on them. My eye is just a little watery. And, okay, so let's add our highlight. And what I'm using for highlight is the BH, BH Cosmetics Wild and Radiant Palette. And I think that, oh, I forgot that was in there and it scared me. Oh, I'm about to get myself a jolt. Um... And the brush I'm going to use to put that on is the Morphe PK524. And I think, I can't remember exactly which one I want. So let's swatch this a little bit. I think that's the one I want. It's like a golden highlight. So I think that it's going to look good, but not be too crazy. I'm just going to put a little bit back here to give it a little punch of pretty <laughs> everybody likes that little punch of pretty I am going to put a little bit just a little bit in this outer brow bone just the outer brow bone I don't want it to go all the way across just on the outer brow bone and then I'm going to put a little bit on the cupid's bow. Oh, and I probably got a little bit too much. Because I didn't tap off. That's why. And a little on the chin. And a little bit down the nose. Just to bring the look together. Oh, my paper. I like leaving those in. I don't know why I leave those in there. Isn't that crazy? All right. 
let's get this finished up try not to make this any longer than possible i did go ahead and change my shirt got my party shirt on for my birthday i don't have any jewelry on yet because i haven't decided what was going to look good with this yet um the i went through and i was trying to decide on color for lipstick and i think this one is just going to be too orange because i have a lot of orange going on up here so while i was digging through i found my so susan liquid matte uh long wear in pumpkin and i thought that would be perfect just to pull the look together and kind of finish it up before i do that though before i put the lipstick on i do want to go and use my fix plus and just set everything i don't go crazy with it a lot of people spray a lot on and i don't understand that and then i'm going to take my blender and just pat it in so everything sets nicely okay and then whoo get that dried up a little bit just a little bit i think i angered my bangs okay so susan Shade Pumpkin. Go in here. Um, my lips are on a little bit of the dry side. But even though this is long wearing, it's not super drying. So, I like that a lot. I like it a lot. <laughs> and, there we go. That's our look for today, guys. This is my birthday. Get ready with me. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun filming. I'm sorry it was a little crazy. Let me get in here where you can see my look. I'm very proud of my lashes. They really, I am really been practicing and I think that they went on really good today. So this is my birthday look. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm so glad you guys came along. Um, how do I feel about this Morphe palette? Cause it's the first time I've ever used a Morphe palette. It's great. They blend so well, so fast, so easy. I don't feel like I'm like spending hours trust to blending, 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 blending. I think they blended well. And I think that it really looks good. And yeah, that's our look for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks so much for coming along. Please like, subscribe, comment below. And we will see you in the next video. Alright guys, you have a wonderful day. Bye!